We are the sound of the branch crackling in the midnight forest. We are the hellish shadows cast by the leaves under the eerie moonlight. We are that scream you could have sworn you've heard. That mysterious being that makes animals quiver in fear in the dark. We are the children of the forest. With a name, you might think of us as benevolent, harmless, maybe even go as far to say as helpful. Mortal men belittle us with their implausible depictions of our race. These nice elf-like beings that merely skip through the forest and talk to fairies. The human race is misled about our purpose, but the very nature of our existence. We're not guardian angels. We're hell's worst nightmare. We are always one with the forest. We've been lurking on earth since the beginning of time. Millions of years of evolution have passed by before the trees large and nurturing could sate our seeds. Don't be mistaken though, we are parasites incarnate. The forest used to be a truly majestic place at sight, showered with fairies and other illuminated creatures. That's right, fairies. The leaves used to glow softly at the night. Those nights were long gone before humans ever came into the picture. Our goal had been the dispersion of dark forces from the beginning. With those dark forces, we took over the forest. All of the nocturnal beauty had faded. We needed its energy to survive. As time passed, our power began to diminish. Seeing that the natural beauty had faded, of course, our next logical step was the extermination of animals. We had consumed the energy of a few before. The humans began to notice. The presence of the advanced humans led to our fate. We were so busy and basking in our power from beauty that we had vanquished. That during the time of the humans had evolved from monkeys to these super beings that could easily so overpower us, it's, it's crazy. They soon noticed the predicament of their food source, or rather, lack thereof. One night, we were consuming one of their precious animals via the dark forces and they spotted us. They carried weapons of wood and stone, which proved superior over our magic. We took many of them, and the psychological damage was worse than physical. After the dust had cleared, however, our numbers were in the mere twenties. So we hid in the forest. Our group grew to fifteen, as there was a gross lack of energy. We were dying. We came up with a new way to feed off the weak. Human children were ultimately determined as our prey. They're obtuse, narrow-minded, and very naive. Which made them the perfect targets. We vastly overpower them as well, so there's no chance of escape. We live in the forest to this day, but we are not limited to forests. Any reasonable amount of dense underbrush can serve as a temporary forage for ungurgitation. So next time you hear a creepy sound coming from a group of trees, it's not the wind blowing, it's not your imagination, it's us.